Hello, black hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right, see you in chem. Yeah. For sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Ugh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Meh. Well, at least not for now. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night, caught Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit, really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. So, what did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push-me-to-succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. 
What do you think of this hypothesis, that you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today? Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. But fire's so pretty. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Last night's show was too epic. Firewalk forever, bitches. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber, the drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier.
Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana-flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... uh... yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Sorry, Wellesie, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation from my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we, uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple of years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. 
Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? You hang with the Vortex Club? I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure The club I... should be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. Wow, the Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. So the beacon's putting me up on the front page of the lifestyle section. Who cares? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, meth central. My cousin met this hooker there Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> 
All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's... Ah, uh, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. No. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like, skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so, like, really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land. 
now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I knee him, right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah, I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, 
He doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was... Nuts. I'm going to give you a plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? I want to punch that stupid man-cow in the dick. Like, right in the dick? Right in the dick. Chloe, you punch a lot of dicks. So? You miss. Durgaron burst out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the side with a horn. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, 
Roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Ooh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching.
watching. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off, as in go away. No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. got here, Twitch. Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. 